Y'all, look is what is the first thing we see early in the morning. That got to be somebody's pet snake. Ooh, it look like it's dead now, child. Ooh, when I tell you that shit, dark. Oh no, let me not cuss within the first thirty seconds of the video, but oh my goodness, ooh. I thought it was a toy at first, but that looked like it's the real deal, y'all. Oh my. Oh, Lord. Yeah, somebody darn gone pet snake got loose because I don't think we have those types of snakes naturally here in North Carolina. At least I ain't never seen one like that. And I done been here all my life 30 years. I don't know the way that the climate is going now, but still, no, snakes don't travel like that. Mm -mm. Birds, maybe. And Lord knows we've seen a whole lot of birds that don't belong here. Some that walk on two feet catch. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, I turn y'all back on. Oh shoot, let me keep y'all back on for this darn gone worsome dog. Okay, he's gonna he's on his best behavior today, y'all. So I turn y'all back on when I'm further down the street. Okay, y'all. So walking up. It is not <laughs> Lord knows. I don't even want to say the time. <laughs> it is 9.18. And I'm about at least 25 minutes out from the job. Hell, they already know this is routine. <laughs> right? You know, at least I'm not an hour late, shoot. See, they got me coming up in this job so sporadically. It's like, can you really hold me accountable for time management at this point in the game? But as y'all can tell, we done switched it up. We using, I mean, we wearing one of our bonnets from Tiku. We also got our purse. Hell, I thought the purse was the, going to be the only thing I was going to need. I thought I was going to be able to finally do away with this coat, but it's a good thing I done <laughs> saved on to it. Because it's rainy out today. Not necessarily this morning, thank goodness. Uh, but by the time I get off of work today, it really supposed to be pouring down. So, yeah. We need the darn on raincoat today, y'all. Although, for the future, though, I guess I could use that little um, rain cover um, I got from Timu. However, I need my larger purse. Because when I get ready to take it off, I'm going to need to put that rain, you know, coat thing in a plastic bag so the water don't drip on the floor when I get to work or whatnot. But that's what I'm going to I can't wait to try that out. And that only cost me like $2 and what, 60 cent? I'm telling y'all, y'all better not sleep on Tiku. But anyways, oh, use my code FAVE24449. To get you 30% off your first order. Y'all know D1 got to uh, have different streams of income. I want to plug that every time I get a chance, honey. So, yeah, y'all. Every time y'all darn gonna purchase, a girl does get a commission off of it. So, help a girl out. Why helping yourself out to some darn gonna good affordable items. High quality at affordable prices. But back to our regular schedule programming. So, we walk into this job. It's Sunday. <laughs> Old girl called me up real quick once I went in there Saturday. I went down there to get me something to eat. Also, to pick up the demon, something at the uh, restaurant, at the Chinese restaurant. Because there's a Chinese restaurant in the uh, Bronco Square, right? So, I was like, well, hell. Since she getting darn on Chinese food... Or whatnot. Honey, she can go ahead and treat me, honey, to Dargon McAllister. Cause Lord knows they won't ever let me darn gonna get a lunch. <laughs> it look like they ain't gonna ever let me get a lunch break in this bitch ever again while I'm still here. I'm still here, here, here. I'm still hungry. Because goddamn it, they don't wanna give us no food. So since they don't wanna give us no food or whatnot, I said, you know what? Let me go on here and and walk up through here or whatnot. So I was glammed up that day. I said, this'll be something so they know that Diva Wan don't just be basic. 
Cause they see me coming up in here with this darn on ill outfit. You know this ill fitted outfit every day. I said, I want them to see a little bit that Devin Wine do got a body out of underneath these darn going <laughs> work clothes or whatnot. So I had to come through just to show out a little bit. Not too much. I didn't have no, I ain't even have no, my show enough skinny jeans on. I just had the regular ones on. So just a little tease, honey. Just, just a little, just a little light flex as the, as the new kids would say. But yeah, y'all, we back in regular mode today, honey. Oh shit, I hope none of them bitches has no, oh fuck. Y'all know what I forgot? I forgot my spy camera. Hopefully it's not needed today. I do come back up in here Monday. Uh, but see, Monday, I think I work alongside um, her Monday. I don't know. They be switching this shit up so much. Like some Mondays I come up in there and we working side by side, which makes it perfect. Because y'all know I hate doing the chicken. I cut up the chicken all day long. As long as she can part the chicken, I'm perfect. But, and all the other meats is good because you just put it in the regular paper and you just put it in the pan. But that chicken is what gets me. That's what gets me is that damn chicken. But yeah, I ain't got my camera. So y'all ain't gonna see no shenanigans today. The truck don't come until tomorrow anyway, so we don't need it for sexy eye can't although through the weekday it seems like that regular dude comes there through the weekday. He's alright, he's okay to look at. I want old dude that was there the other day, so I can darn gonna catch honey. I I I whip out this camera for him, honey. I know he's gonna be looking at me all types of weird hell. Might even report me, but hell, I won't be at this job too much longer anyway. Because when I say tell y'all he is fine, okay, that I wouldn't do that, y'all. That would be outright disrespectful. I don't want to come off as desperate or whatnot, especially when I don't have to be. But I would shoot my shot, honey. I wouldn't the next time he come through, honey. And lieu of my newfound, well, hell, I've been single. <laughs> but now that I'm, you know, emotionally available or whatnot, son, I'm going to shoot my shot. I had my live stream that I did this weekend. I broke down. I told y'all everything that's going on with me as far as the change. Some stuff has been delayed, but it's still coming on through as far as the upcoming surgeries. We're going back to school, which is going to help me out twofold because I'll be able to be a possible test dummy in the classroom and they can go ahead and put in the, and you, cause I know it ain't too many of us. I don't know if they put me in Atlanta, it's like, okay, of course it's a lot of us. But if I go out to like Arizona somewhere, I don't know if it's too many of us. That's darn on taking up the laser tech courses out west. So the advantage of that is, you know, I get to be the test dummy. And they can darn gonna get up zap this good old melanin skin right here and get this hair gone. Now I know y'all saying, well, Juan, since they like this and not like this, are you afraid of them burning you? And no. Only because of the fact that they're skilled. You know, we're going to be properly trained on the settings for everybody's skin type. And you got a professional overseeing it. So I ain't worried about getting literally burnt up or whatnot. And even if I do, you know, that's why we're an esthetician. We can go ahead and fix it. Now, granted, they're going to be <laughs> compensating me uh, for me having to uh, bring out my chemical pills and stuff on myself. But, you know, let's not speak that into existence. We're going to say everything is going to go smoothly as far as getting this hair permanently gone. I just got to time this just right. Because it's like, for me to really do this, that means 
I have to finally get disintegrated within the next couple months and it's going to be tricky because I want to say I want to enroll by August I don't know if I want to enroll in August or I want to wait to the end of the year probably not the end of the year because I don't want to be rushing going to and from different states because it's like if I wait till like November, then I'm going to be on the West Coast for essentially like a month. Because I will be out in Arizona, which I think is the Midwest, for two weeks. And then immediately I will be flying out to California. California, California, baby. So yeah, that's why I want to get it done like early part of the summer. I'm down for the summer. Uh-uh. In a perfect world, we will also be darn on getting this situated as well. But I don't see it in the financial coins <laughs> right now. Not with all that I have to do this year. Unless somebody wants to bless a girl, honey. I will take the darn on blessings. Somebody got a spare 15 bands for me. I document the whole procedure, honey. Even if they have me mark, Well, actually, you don't even get fully sedated. They just have you severely numb. Although the procedure can be as long as six hours, so I'll probably fall asleep. I'll make sure to expand my storage or whatnot to make sure that y'all will see the whole... Because that's going to take up... Ooh, that'll probably take up a good 60 gigabytes worth of... Ooh. I might have to lower that quality down. Because an hour's footage is like 10 gigabytes. Now, I want to say YouTube... I don't know. Does YouTube have like a limit? On like... I think it's like 24 or 25 gigs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I got to check... <laughs> I ain't never had to do a foot a upload that long before. But we <laughs> Oh Lord, I hate to imagine what the upload time on that's gonna be. But we'll figure it out when the time comes when you know when we get closer to that mark. But yeah, I don't want everything being super close together. So here's to the day going smoothly. No drama. Let me just get up in here, cut this meat, and I'm gonna be up out the dough. Oh, y'all, I get the report on the AC today. I see, I didn't even ask them about the AC yesterday. They heard that I'll be up in here Monday. Honey, old girl called me on that phone. So I'm like, girl, you, you, you supposed to be in here Sunday. She made sure I wasn't late the damn day, child. But I get to experience this cool AC today, hopefully. If not, it's like, it's, you know, it's rainy outside. It's 60 degrees. So it ain't hot for me to really notice the difference if they do got it on. But I definitely know by Monday or Wednesday now, I think Wednesday they have me working the spud table. Because they say at least one of those weekdays that I work is going to be on that damn spud table, y'all. They could have kept that shit. <laughs> they could have kept that shit. I don't I know I asked for it, but I don't want it no more. <laughs> Them potatoes get on my nerves. You got to gauge how many, uh, how many customers is coming through. You got to have, rotate the potatoes ever so often. And... Mm -mm. Now, surprisingly, making the salad and stuff is easy. It's them nachos that's kicked my behind. Because I be forgetting all the condiments that comes with the ultimate nachos. So that's the only thing that be getting me. Thank God we don't have to worry about that today, though. I 
Also, old girl is off. And when I say old, I mean that in the literal sense. O-L-D. I'm hoping. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about having to whip out the spy cam. But I will have it with me tomorrow and Wednesday. On a personal note, y'all, we're going to do some reaching out to some folks. I heard y'all on this week's live stream. And, oh, let me clarify that. I'm not reaching out to the folks that y'all think I'm reaching out to. That time has passed. Like I said, they already know. I'm sure by now they already don't see my videos. If they ain't reached out, I'm not reaching out um, or whatnot. Now, if they still, if certain somebody still want to reach out, I will be open to the conversation. But for right now, I'm going to be reaching out to some of the girls that wanted the darn on take a girl out on a date. Cause like I said, maybe this might be the darn on change that I darn on need or whatnot. I don't know. Now, with that being said, guys, I'm not turning into a full-blown lesbian, so y'all can still slide in the DMs as well. But for right now, I'm going to reach out to these darn on girls and see what we might be going out on. I mean, might be going out to in the next darn on week or so. Especially since you know, my my availability is a lot more open. So, like, this upcoming week... Oh, shoot. No, let me not even plan it for this week. Because Tuesday is my only day off that I know for a fact. And I got to wash this hell of mine while I still got it. Yeah, y'all, I'm not bald-headed <laughs> underneath this darn going, uh, turban. I got 20 inches of hair that I got to regularly wash. The schedule don't come out until Wednesday. It might be my look, they might add more days for once. So, I don't want to set nothing up until after I see the schedule for Wednesday. However, if I'm off on Thursday or Friday, since I don't know, like I said, with chasing, I'm pretty much dropping chasing. I'm going to darn gonna catch up with the reviews and then I'm dropping Chasing Dallas. So that'll free up my Thursday schedule. And I can go out to dinner on Thursday. Or maybe, a, or we, we might can save it for Friday night if I'm not working. I can get glammed up and everything. Although I'm trying to figure out, ugh. I'm not thinking like what restaurant would be good to go out on a see this is this is how you can tell that it's been a minute because I can't even think of no good restaurants to go out to in Fayetteville. Yeah, we might have to travel <laughs> we might have to travel to Raleigh somewhere. Y'all know Raleigh's only about 50 minutes from me. We might have to go home here and get a rental car and just travel up to Raleigh. We'll see how the week goes. I'll keep y'all abreast of that situation. Hell, I might have to come up on here and do a whole personal vlog outside of the work vlog. Because over the past couple months, y'all really only been getting like the personal talk mixed in with my work talk. But I also want to get back to doing personal vlogs outside of me just talking as I'm working, I meant walking to the business. But anyways, y'all, I'm about five minutes out. I only got about 50 minutes worth of camera footage. So I'm gonna let y'all go so we have enough footage for when we get up out of here today. So I will see y'all this afternoon. This is what freezer looking like today. So we got to cut off, cut pastrami. Oh, they must be selling more corned beef than normal because we normally don't prepare four pans of corned beef. Roast beef. What's today? I ain't gonna cut no roast beef because I think today's only the 30th. Oh shoot, we might have to because I think this goes out on the first. There ain't no preps down here. 
Now why they got the suits over here is what gets me. They gonna have to move that because I got I got to put my darn on pants down here. Chicken is an automatic. Turkey's an automatic. Ham, I might not have to cut no. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, y'all. <laughs> we might not. Oh hell, it ain't no chicken to cut. The truck don't come until Monday, y'all. Punishment. <laughs> I can't stand cutting this and carring this chicken, so honey, we ain't worried about the chicken, so we'll cut two things of turkey. See, now I don't mind cutting the darn old pastrami and the roast beef now because I ain't got to deal with damn chicken. But since we got this ice machine, I got to figure out how do I get my ice now. See, they don't tell a girl nothing. They now got the ice machine in, so I'm trying to figure out, like, how does my towel behind get all the way down low, get the ice out, and bring it back to the thing. We about to find out right now. Ice machine. And then these are our lockers. Okay. It is 120, 1.23, leaving work for the day. And child, is never a dull day at Durgon Matt Callister's child. So as far as I am concerned, it was a smooth day for me. I only had to cut up two meats. That's why I didn't even, see, I told y'all that we wasn't even going to need a camera no way. It would have been a waste because when I show y'all how to cut the meat, I want to show y'all, wait a minute, I think I already got the footage of me cutting the meat. Y'all just need to see me parring the meat. Or is it breaking down the machine? I don't know which one. I think it's cutting. I got to see the footage. But yeah, y'all, we're going so slow these past couple days where I just had to cut up a pastrami and what else did I cut up? Just one turkey. Cause they had a full four pans underneath the table, three sitting in the back and yeah, so I only had to cut up one turkey. I'm not used to saying that. So with that being said, I was technically done with meats and stuff. I even did a whole thing of tomatoes. And I was done with all that by 12.20. So pretty much what I did for about like a half hour was just some dark going uh helping them out down there right doing the expo. And it felt good being back there off for once. Cause I told y'all they don't just kick my ass off the dark going board. I don't make those sandwiches no more. It's like the only time they want to bring me back there is the darn on salad bar. But they already got, uh, now surprisingly, the one that used to give me trouble, they had him on the salads today. But then old boy came in at once, so I don't know how they be doing this with the college students. But technically, it's two people back there on the salad bar. I don't know why. <laughs> when it's, well, I guess when he came in, they pushed the one that used to give me trouble over on the table, and that's when shit hit the table. He darn gone has his way of doing the sandwiches, and I got accustomed to it. At first, I said, okay, this is just his personality. He got OCD. He liked to be very meticulous. Like, to the average person, he goes out of order for us, and it frustrates us. For, but for me, I finally got to know how he works or whatnot, and I'm able to adjust. Other folks, not so much. Understandably so, because if nobody don't get to know you, and see, that's the irony. Old girl that got frustrated was darn going playing this game with us. Oh, shit. Why is my manager messaging me? Now, I got permission to leave. Don't do that. Now, wait a minute. Now, I'm in a good mood. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hell no. No, 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 no. Hell no. Now she tripping. See? Y'all catch this shit in real time. Now y'all just seen that I was in a good mood. I just said it. I said ain't nothing happened with me today. The drama was with the co-workers. Because like I said, he has a way of doing stuff. And she's normally the calm one back there. He's usually to himself. Actually, all the boys back there. And when I say the boys, I'm talking about the young ones because they significantly younger than me. Um, they're like 20, 21, so they're in the age range of my younger cousins that I, I helped raise. So I look at them in that regard. So, and then the other girl, she's closer to my age. So we was doing this fun exercise today. We was getting to know each other, a little, little, you know, Q&A and stuff. So the day going dark on perfect, right? Lord, next thing I know, I hear, soon as I was about to clock out, here goes the manager, this one right here that wants to text me. She, see, she's slick. She's slick as fuck. She know what she be doing. She don't want to see my eye look. She'll wait right good until, she'll wait right good until I leave the building, right? And then say, oh, I forgot to ask. No, you didn't. You just didn't want to see my response in real time. See, the motherfuckers get bold once you leave the establishment. They want the darn gonna get to asking you stuff once you leave. But we wanna get to her in a minute. But yeah, these two get, at, get to going at it in the middle of making sandwiches. And Lord knows of all the customers, why did Fayetteville's finest come in? <laughs> I was like, well, damn. I was like, well, shit, at least if darn on shit really hits the fan, <laughs> we got Fayetteville's finest to run back here. <laughs> Me and the other manager can fix the sandwich <laughs> while darn on Fayetteville's finest. <laughs> and he was in uniform and everything, so he was on the job. And he would have been pissed off. I know he would have been like, now this the shit I got to deal with during my lunch break. I came to get me a damn sandwich. And I got to come back down here. And darn gonna, I got to come back in the kitchen. And darn gonna detain y'all two rowdy hoes. But it ain't get to that point, y'all. You know, they was able to separate themselves. You know, we talked to both of them or whatnot. And like I said, with me, oh, it, it was just so bad to see. I mean, even though I'm describing it in a sensationalized way, it was upsetting because I was like, damn, can't we get one fucking good day out this bitch? Now, my mood is still going to be happy regardless because y'all know all that I experienced over these past couple months. I am in a new mind space and I said, I'm not letting stuff get to me. I'm counting down my days here. You know, I'm ready to darn on, you know, live my life to the fullest. Look, these clouds are. You might see me whip out this umbrella. Let me tell you how crazy our weather is. Up until like 10 minutes to me leaving. It was raining real heavy, right? Now it was bright and sunny out. And now it's cloudy. I mean, not bright and sunny, but the sun was out. And now it's cloudy again. But like I said, I'm not letting nothing get to me. But I don't want to see no co-workers going down at it. Because I love both. Well, oh boy, you know. He's complicated. Like I said, in, 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 in essence, outside of working with him, he's such a sweetheart, but 
<laughs> I, 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 I understood where old girl was coming from because y'all seen firsthand. I've I been there. Now, that being said, it wasn't serious enough for me to whoop his ass. <laughs> like, y'all seen me get up on this camera and cuss him and one old other co-worker out. But I don't let it get to me <laughs> to the point uh, where somebody makes me want to slap the shit out of them. Ain't none of them. Not even that gray hair darn going hag that likes to darn going cause trouble from time to time. I don't let her. And she's been good lately too. I have my issues in there. But thankfully, at this job, ain't nobody ever took me to a physical level. And that's a pleasant change. Because y'all know the last time I worked here over at the Chick-fil-A, honey, y'all know the tale about me about to throw that catfish up in the grease. I ain't had none of those experiences. But yeah, that's the... There's always been some back and forth with people throughout there. But that's the first time it got hostile like that. Like, ooh. So I had to check on both of them. Look like they're going to be okay to work till closing time. And speaking of closing, that's a good transition into what this manager just messaged me about. Now, y'all seen firsthand that I have been doing nothing but opening days or whatnot. Now, how about this? How about she go messaging me, talking about, oh, can you work 3.30 to 7.30 on Tuesday? Who? Who, Sway? Uh-uh. And matter of fact, let me check that schedule to see who's even on the schedule that day. Now, Tuesday might be a good day. I think Tuesday is the all-girl crew. So I'm not as worried. Because like I said, I love the guys back there. They sweethearts and everything. But closing with them is a bitch. And, this, and I'm not talking about attitudes, but like it, it's all sorts of unorganized and everything. So that's why y'all always heard me bitch and complain about closing on Wednesdays. Now I'm trying to think, should I say yes? Because technically... I've been off all this week. And it's like I could do with the hours. Especially since on my prep days, I'm always leaving like an hour early. So I don't never get my full set of hours, no way. So that can help make up for the loss of hours. So in one sense, I'm thinking maybe yes. I don't know, now. Nah. I want to see if we can adjust that now. She can tell me I can get out there as soon as the doors close. Because right now, because we close at 7. For her to tell me 7.30, that means she want me to clean up as well too. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. Even with the all-girl crew, I'd rather not. Uh, I come up in there for like 3 to 6, or even 3 to 7. Like, we can play around with the hours. Like, instead of 3.30, I can come in at 3. Hell, I even come in at 2 o'clock. 2 to 7. That way, that give me enough time to chat with the morning crew. See, I don't like that bullshit with, uh, we're going to be in the afternoon or whatnot, so I don't get the, because I, I liked it in the beginning where I floated around so much and my hours overlapped to the point where I got to know everybody in detail. It's like I came in at the tail end of the morning shift just enough to get a gauge of how the day went and then I would darn on close out with the evening shift. And that's how I was able to get to know everybody, get their work. And I think that's how it should be with a new employee anyways. That way you get a sense of how everybody works, their personalities. So when you have shit like, <laughs> you know, people taking their sweet time on the sandwiches and you thinking they just being a dickhead, but that's just, you know, they OCD. It's like you getting to know stuff like that 
once you be around people long enough. But she even said it earlier before, you know, they got into it, that they haven't had the pleasure of working together like that. And that in lies the problem. Because if you haven't worked around an employee like that, see, I told y'all I was going to have to whip out this umbrella before it was done with. But yeah, when you haven't worked around an employee like that, and then all of a sudden you're around them and you start to pick up on there on certain things, it throws you for a loop because you wasn't prepared for it. Now y'all know with me, I know how to acquiesce pretty well. Oh shit. Oh! Like I said, I know how to acquiesce pretty well, but that's because of my years in customer service. Child, I'm about to get under one of these houses. Oh hell. This is crazy, y'all. Oh shit. Oh Lord, I feel bad for old boy. He ain't got no coat on or nothing. Oh Lord, this is horrible. Oh! I should have called a damn cab, y'all. I'm gonna have to change out. Oh! Ain't nobody else I could get under. Honey, somebody cue the song Rain on Me, honey. Rain on me. Ow. Hell, I might as well tough it on out now. Shit. We already so close to the house. Oh God, I feel my socks wet and everything. Lord, it wouldn't pay for that to be my uncle right here. This will be the day to pick a bitch up. See, I took the chance. I took the chance and now this is the consequence. When it rains, it pours. I open up that message from that manager. Got the bad news, and next thing you know, here it is, raining cats and dogs. Now I'm frustrated. See, now, I don't even want to fuck them hours. <laughs> Now I want to say, honey, they can keep them damn hours. I'm seriously thinking, though. Like I said, I'm going to text her. Uh, I come in from 3 to 6. And the reason why I'm yelling is because of this damn rain, y'all. This is ridiculous. Let me shift my see how, how bad it is. I know one thing for certain, two things for sure. If I decide to walk in the rain again, I will be uh, putting on that darn old thing from Timu. Because walking in wet socks is not fun. This is, oh Lord, this is completely ridiculous. Yeah. 
I, 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 when I get to the house, I really got to think on that. Let's see, the more that I get rained on, the more I get irritated. Horrible. I'm gonna have to throw my dirt on pants directly in the dryer. Look at this. Have y'all seen this shit firsthand out the fucking blue? It wants the dirt on rain like this. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing this shit no more. This my last time walking from this job in the rain. Somebody upstairs got a six six of you. Cause this morning I was talking about going on dates and the dates could have le uh, led to other stuff such as getting rained on. But this is not what I meant about getting rained on. Ooh. Oh, this is, oh Lord. Why won't the dog on thunderstorm like this? I can't even cross the darn on sidewalk. I wish y'all could see this water on this sidewalk. Oh. 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 This is hard. Oh. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Never again. Never again. Oh, this is gonna make a good ASMR video for somebody. We almost there, y'all. We almost there. fucking thunderstorm. Diva Wine always managed to find a good piece of dirt on eye candy. <laughs> this is motherfucking proof. I wish y'all could have seen what he looked like. Honey, it adds to the literal term. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. We got to see a dirt on man even in the fucking rain. This is the worst time for this fucking thunderstorm to hit. This is crazy. Look. Oh no, I stay right here. Thank you. See, at least it was one person that was willing to offer me a ride, y'all. Oh lord. I forgot when I start the camera in this mode, I can't even switch it. But y'all see how much water is rushing down the street? Ooh. See, now why couldn't she stay all the way back near Seabrook? Hell, that's when I needed, that's when I needed the damn ride. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hell, I'm always soaking wet now. Oh, now it won't ease up. Y'all see this bullshit? 
I finally get to the house. And now the rain want to ease up. This is the hell crazy. Matter of fact, this cut the dog on being the profile. Matter of fact, yeah, let me go on here and take the profile real quick. So y'all know what to do. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and get out these damn wet clothes, y'all.